everybody. All my uh, hat guys out there, hat nerds. Um, it's hot out there. Took a nice walk today to the to the mall with my son. Went to Queen Center Mall. There's this place out there called Duchess Cookies. They have like these, you know, these new like mega cookies you see online everywhere. It's like huge ones and they're like different colors and sparkles. And then you like break them open and inside is like, you know, some have like peanut butter and jelly or Nutella or cheesecake in there or apple pie or, you know, there's all kinds of like, like crap on the inside and you break them. They're huge, they're almost like cake. They're really good. We wound up getting a dozen, which is like, it's like 57 bucks or something like that. But uh, yeah, we overdid it. But uh, it's the first time uh, I've been to the mall with my son in a long time. And he bought some cool stuff there for himself too, uh, with his own money, which was really awesome. And uh, yeah, we had a nice time, we just got back. I thought I would uh, make you guys a video. I'm making them roughly every three days now and stuff, so. You know, there might be some music uh, in between, but um, yeah, you could count on them like just about every three days. If I see that I haven't gone, you know, I've gone three or four days with, without making a hat video, then I just go in and make it two days. All right. All right. So let's, let's get down to business here. Let's, um, let's do a little hat shaping today. Now today, I don't think I'm going to actually use the steamer because... Um, these are my hats, and I prefer my hats to be center crease. I don't know if you know that about me, but pretty much all, almost all of my hats are center crease. I've got a, uh, a gambler up there. Uh, there's a black gambler. Um, and there's another pork pie there that I shaped that I kind of regretted. I didn't really want to shape that, but I guess I was bored at JJ's one day. And I've got the teardrop Asher hemp over there, which uh, probably wouldn't work as well in a center crease because it's a very low, low compact hat. So let me let me show you a little bit of the theory first, too. You know why you shape, when you shape, and stuff. Okay. Now each each shape has their characteristics, their their pros, their cons, their different looks and stuff. A center crease. Is the, is the simplest shape. It's just a crease, two pinches generally. Um, although the pinches are optional, but center crease, pinch front, known as PF or CC, center crease or pinch front, either one. Um, it's the most simple. I feel like it's very elegant to that. The simplicity and the, you know, the shadows, the way it looks from behind is very clean looking. Um, I just like, I like the looks of it, uh, the simplicity of it, where a teardrop can be a bit more nostalgic sometimes, it could look more 40s, it's got a boxy look, a lot of square looks and stuff, there's advantages to them. So here's the thing, the center crease is jutting way down into the crown of the hat, see, it's going down in there. So. You know, what started here is now very low. So what you're doing is you're making less depth inside the hat. You're gonna bump into this. Now with a very hard hat like an open road, you hit it like a rock and the hat just sits way too high on your head, you know, because you're, you're leaning on that bump. But if you don't have enough depth in a soft hat, what happens is you just push it out and, you know, it doesn't sit the right way. So. What I'm getting at is that this this shape, this shape, the center crease, it's a beautiful shape, right? Sometimes it can be one of your higher shapes, okay? But it actually gives you less depth inside because you've got this thing in here, this little bump. It's got to go somewhere, right? Now, there are ways around it. If you're hitting that and you're not getting enough depth to get your entire head in there deep enough, you have choices. Number one is the bubble crown. The bubble crown is when you make a little bubble. So in other words, you bring it up in the center. See what I'm doing, that little bubble? Okay. You make a bubble that's nice and tall, but when it's up here on top of your head, nobody can see it. So in other words, it still looks like a center crease pinch front, but you've got the depth that you need. 
because of the little bubble that you make, okay? Generally, it's a little deeper bubble than that, you know? Okay, so when this is all the way up to, you know, forehead level, when you're wearing a hat, nobody can see that stuff anymore. Not unless you wear your hat extremely on the back. You're, you know, you're doing that Boy George Madonna 80s thing where you tip it back on your head. But the idea is it still is a center crease with depth, bubble crown. Okay, we sell a Panama called the, um, the, what do we call it? The classic Panama, which has that. It's basically center crease with enough depth. Okay, it gives you a little bubble there. Now, that's one option. The other option is you teardrop it. Now, if you need a lot of depth, the teardrop is the way to go because essentially, instead of going down, this thing is coming up. You have like a, a bump that's coming up and it could go up as high as you need. So what you do with the teardrop is, okay, you're deepening it, but that's more of a side effect or a, uh, it's, it's one of its qualities, but visually the teardrop is lower, okay? So it gives you more depth, but it's lower looking. So in other words, when I wanna lower a hat, I can lower just the back of it. I could get rid of all this meat up here, tuck it into itself, and it becomes a teardrop. So I just tuck it, see? Tucking it down into itself. Tuck it down into the hat, and I make that teardrop shape, okay? The idea is you want it to be parallel to the, you know, to the ground. You don't want it to be off-centered or, you know, one side too low. So you go back and make that. I like a little kind of a smile to it. I don't like it flat, flat. So you get it to sort of echo the line of the brim. All right. But, uh, you know, you want everything kind of even. This side looks a little high. You lower it. Okay, once you get it the way you want, then the center comes up, okay? Now the, the idea is what you're doing is all this meat that was up here, you got rid of it, you tucked it into itself. So the center crease is a high shape. If you wanna lower your hat, you're lowering it at a little angle with the back down more, the front higher, because it just looks cooler, okay? And then you could chop this off, you can make it go low by just tucking the corner into itself. So in other words, it's low, low, high, high, low. Okay, then you get a good teardrop happening. You tighten the pinch a little. Okay, get that teardrop happening. So what you did is you lowered your whole hat basically, but you just left a little height in the front because you don't want it to look like a, uh, a pork pie. You want it to still have a fedora look. So what you do is you keep the front a little higher. There's your teardrop. The whole back is flat and low. Low, 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 low. It's easier to do it when I'm watching. So, good way to do it, you put it on your head, you trace around the back too. All right, center comes up. Okay, what I did is I put my head in there, like this, and I trace around the back. So you should be able to make a teardrop by putting the hat on your head real easily. Let's try it again, watch. Okay, here's my center crease. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it on, bam. Teardrop without looking. Okay, you should be able to do that. Okay, so that's your teardrop. Now what the teardrop does is it brings the hat down, okay, but only halfway. It doesn't bring it all the way down. If you really wanna go lower, 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 you bring the front down too, and then what you have is something a little different. Now you're delving into pork pie territory, okay? So we'll bring the front down also. So the idea is you bring everything down to its lowest level, everything down to the same level, and just pinch, pinch, pinch. Okay, that's a pork pie. Okay, put it on your head. Trace around a little. There's a pork pie. So that's the lowest form for a hat. Turning a pork pie into a diamond is essentially I make this little V with my fingers. In the back I pull out kind of like this. Okay, do it in the back too. And you, you turn your pork pie into a diamond. Using my fingers as 
guides. Look at the little steeple, see? And this finger pulls it out, the thumbs pull it out. Then you get your diamond. All right, pork pie, you're going down all the way around to the same height. So what you could do is you could look at this space, this space, and then you could echo it here, or you could go just a little higher, but all the same. So let's do that. Make the top about the same width as my band, so I have something to judge it against. Okay, pork pies also look good a little longer, so sometimes what I'll do is I'll just pull them out a little, so they're more oval rather than round. Okay. They're actually wider in the back, but pointier in the front like a good teardrop, I mean a good pork pie. Now, putting it on your head definitely helps, okay? But it's more of a telescopic crown once you do that. If you want a full pork pie, this has to be the same height, flat, by here. The way to do that is to put it upside down on a tabletop, okay? It's like that there. Let's see if I can give you guys a better view. Okay, what I do is I put my my hand into the middle and I pat it down like a sort of like a pancake. And I'm using the tabletop to flatten that crown. See? Okay, so I'm taking the middle and I'm pushing it out, out all the way. So the little moat gets skinnier. I'll show you what I mean by the moat. Remember like the moat around the castle? It's like a little thin moat of water. Well, that's what the black part is here. The shadow, see that ring, that shadow ring? That's the moat. So you want the moat to get skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. So what you do is you're pushing that center outwards. So the little moat gets skinnier. It's hard to do it one-handed. Put this down. Okay, I spin it, and there's my pork pie. See the little moat here got super skinny now. Because I'm pushing the center outwards. Yeah, let's get a little more light here. Okay. Often the top gets a little stretched out from you just stretching the crown being a little rough when you're shaping it can do it or when the hat is wet sometimes but uh, you turn it upside down on the table like this pat it down like a pancake and you can flatten that area Guys, get the idea. That's your pork pie. All right. Let's try something else now. All right. Center crease. Let me show you how I do a center crease. My center crease. What I basically do is I start in the middle, right in the bullseye, in the center there. Okay. Put this back down. I start in the center in the center. Just like a little bullseye there. And I go outwards. Okay? When I get to the end, I push down a little, it'll stop at the right point. It stops. See? She doesn't want to go down further. Then I come in the inside with my fingers and I fix it. Just smooth them out. Okay. Now to pinch it, we're going to grab it, not at the very top, but right under the top. Imagine that this little area here is like a little sausage. Just grab it under there. Two fingers in the center. Pull it back. Okay. Then look at the hat, 
at a bird's eye view and make sure that one of them doesn't go too far back. Get them at even lengths. I like to stop them about halfway through the hat. Half hat is pinched, half hat is not. This is an Antonio, it's a Borsellino Antonio. These are coming in in uh, this autumn again. These make great pork pies, they make great teardrops too. Or you can wear them center creased. I prefer the center creased, but they look good all three ways. Pork pie. Got a baggy enough crown that it can take a good pork pie, you know. is soft enough, rollable, down, brim down, everything open, fold it in half against your chest, push the center down here, and get it ready, so you got like a U shape now, get ready to roll, in your little pocket, okay, Wish, wish, wish. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.